ever feel in need of a little boost to your ego now and again? Perhaps you achieve something, tick something off the list. Perhaps someone credits you for working hard and doing a good job. Or maybe you do something as simple as walking through a fucking door. Add in a wanky background track and a company famous for making bars of soap and you've got yourself a video. So, fill the tub, add some matey colour changing bubble bath complete with novelty penguin lid and relax. Oh, and blaze up a fatty. Happy 420 everyone. I totally get what she's going through right now. It is really fucked up when they do this. Like, I can't believe this shit is allowed to go on. It puts people in an awkward position, you know? And I know what it's like. I've been there too. Handles on both sides of the door and no sign for push or pull. Absolutely disgusting. It was my choice. And now I will question myself for the next few weeks, maybe months. Jeez, questioning yourself for months. What the hell did you do, woman? Embezzled the pension account at your office? Had an abortion? Killed a man? What else is there? Um, became a member of Hearts Progress and advocate including paedophiles under the LGBT banner? Doesn't get a lot worse than that, really. Now, if this is meant to be a video empowering the female whatever, wouldn't it have been better to have women putting that sign up? But I guess you can't have average written above a woman's head. That would give the wrong message. Plus, I assume they want it up straight, so there's that too. Never mind. More men working then? I'm just saying, you could have had a woman carrying that ladder. That's aluminium, they don't weigh much. Or pushing the sign along, it's on wheels, that would have been easy enough. Or even be the third guy, just holding on to the sign as someone else pushes it. I think he's a bit redundant actually, it doesn't take three men to put up a sign that presumably says chicken fried rice. Here we go then. Dove, the producers of moisturising soap, are kind of forcing women to judge their own looks. There's no third door for fuck ugly or fat, so we're already dealing with unrealistic standards. Unless they're just like, no uggos today. A sign saying that might have been more to the point. We had an option of two pathways to walk. Yeah, just for the fucking idiots in the back who don't understand the premise by now. Fuck here now, are these people eating the soap you produce? And they led to two doorways. Yes, two different doorways. Fucking hell, is this commentary for blind people or something? Because then you've got to go on and explain the concept of beauty to someone who's never fucking seen it. Like they give a shit anyway, they just walk through the fucking door, if they know it's there. Full of confidence too, doesn't care if it says push or pull, just plows on through. This music is driving me nuts. I've never wanted to punch a piano before. It was a bit confronting, actually, to be honest. Confronting? Only in this day and age could we trivialise walking through a fucking doorway. You're taking a photo of a fucking doorway. Why isn't there a I don't give a fuck option? Or I can't be asked with this, I've got to get to work. Or even I don't value myself based on my appearance. Just something to expedite the process a little. Especially when the whole thing causes people to stand around taking photos of a fucking door. What's the matter with you? To see these big signs and feeling like you had to choose well i can see a gap to the left walk through that fuck the system and be self-conscious of how you perceive yourself and perhaps if it lines up with how the rest of the world perceives you oh thank fuck a push sign but oh look she went through that one because she thinks she's average that or 4chan find out what was happening and lock the doors that say beautiful making it look like a big fuck you from dove i wouldn't put it past them sneaky fucking autists but uh, 4chan not dove although I went through the average door. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. Is this what conversations between females is like? How do you guys not get bored? I thought you chatted about hair and nails and men and Facebook. I never considered it might revolve around have you walked through any good doors lately. I gotta say, Dove, you're not painting women in a good light here. You're making them seem a bit self-centred and sinfully dull. I didn't even hesitate. Out of reach? It's the door next to you, love. Just swerve a little to your right and you're golden. I bet if you see the state of some of the people walking through that door, you'd feel a lot fucking better about yourself. 
我走的是一般。Yeah, well, I'm afraid we're gonna have to take your word for that one, lovey. The Japanese use Chinese characters in kanji, except they have different meanings. And I'm not confident in taking a guess at you being either Chinese or Japanese, so I could just say Asian and try to find it from there. But whenever I Google Asian beautiful, it always goes straight to an image search. Mas eu acho que é mais porque eu me arrependi da escolha porque era diferente do que eu vivo, é diferente do que eu do que eu sou. Does no one fucking work in this video? It starts off with you walking through a door, then someone approaches you to tell you they just filmed you walking through that door. They then ask you to sign a release form so they can use the footage of you walking through that door, and then ask if they can come to your fucking house to interview you about why you walked through that door. You make soap, Dove. You might want to mention that at some point. Am I choosing because of what's constantly bombarded at me? What I'm being told. You're choosing because they're making you. You just wanted to go look at some shoes and have a coffee, but now you're being faced with an internal decision that ultimately doesn't fucking matter. But you would think otherwise by the way the violins just kicked in. That I should accept, or am I choosing because that's what I really believe? Ha ha! Your kid is average. That's gotta hurt the little lad, hasn't it? His mum just basically told him he isn't special. Actually, he may grow up to be a well-rounded human being. Maybe some good can come from this video. I walked into that door which said average, and I didn't feel really good after that. Are you used to having an orgasm every time you walk into a room or something? That's not what a doorway's for. If you walk through it, it's done its job. It's done its job well. You can't expect it to make you feel good for doing it. It's not made out of fucking Prozac. Because obviously I had rated myself average, and nobody else. Well, that's quite a healthy outlook, isn't it? Bearing in mind this is all based on looks alone, Dove are underhandedly reinforcing the idea that a woman's appearance is the most valuable thing about her. But dressing it up as no, what you think of yourself is what's important. I'm not sure how any of this sells more soap, but then they're the marketing masterminds, and I'm just ahead. That was so sneaky. A chord followed by the absence of music to give you the impression that it's all sad. Look, she couldn't bear to make the decision in front of people. She's gonna go home now and stare in the mirror while putting on lipstick over and over and over. Whereas in actual fact, she was probably like, oh, for piss sake, I just wanted to do a bit of shopping. Fuck that, I'll go to the other place. Todos os dias eu passo pela porta comum. Every day? How long did this fucking thing take? If she was going through that door every single time, I think it should be renamed to Not Up Your Own Ass. And can we talk about how no fucking men have been featured in this? None at all. Not even a really camp one. Except for the guys who put up the signs, obviously. Are these like women's only buildings or some shit? What's in there? Yontem foi um dia único e eu optei por passar pelo Bonita. Why though? What changed? Just having a beautiful kind of day, I guess. That or your boss has a right go at you every time you come into work. Shanice, if I see you walking through the average door one more time, I'm gonna give you a disciplinary. You're beautiful, so stop doing it, you fucking bitch. Ah, the music's elevating now. You know, audiences get manipulated so much through music. Like that piano chord earlier when the woman walked away. It's messed up considering a lot of people don't even notice it's there. But the music is getting happier now, so you should be too. Also, buy soap. I wanted to go through the average door, but my mum just pulled me over to the beautiful <laughs> door. Yeah, and then blocked her way like, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? I'm going through here. You use the ugly door. That's what my mum would do anyway. She keeps me grounded, bless her. I can tell her, mum, I got 6,000 subscribers. And she says, well done, son. You're still a prick, though. Aw, thanks, mum. Didn't say thank you for opening the door, though. Typical youth, isn't it? So we've had women of loads of different nationalities, women with low self-esteem, women who really should know better. All we're missing now is a woman in a wheelchair. An electric one, if you really want to press the point home. Yay! Just a standard wheelchair, though, so I'm not expecting a dribbling mess. Yeah, an actual retard would have worked a lot more, I think. I mean, this is all obviously staged anyway, isn't it? So if you're gonna make something up, chuck in a retard, you know? Go nuts! 
quite a triumphant feeling. It was like telling the world, I think I'm beautiful. The world doesn't care, love! The world sees it not as an act of defiance against modern beauty standards, but for what it actually was, walking through a fucking door. And if you see that as an achievement, well, I did ask for a dribbling retard, didn't I? Dove did not fail to deliver on that one. They should have a bouncer on that door, I'm just saying. Someone who can stop people and say sorry, not today. Maybe even enforce some kind of dress code, like no leopard print love, can you read the sign? I just wish more young women realised it. Well, if you're gonna say that in front of your daughter, she's gonna have to get a lot better looking. I'm sure most people feel like that. I guess the world is a little easier if you're good looking, but you don't actually get to choose. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, so it doesn't matter if you think you're beautiful. One man's Angelina Jolie is another man's Margaret Thatcher. I think I would walk through the beautiful door. See how her face lights up at the prospect of walking through a fucking door. It doesn't lead to Scrooge McDuck's vault, you stupid bitch. You'll still be the same person on the other side. Except a version of you that's happy lying to yourself, I guess. I think a porta bonita tá completamente aberta para mim. Well done, you! You've conquered the glass door! Back to bitching about that glass ceiling now then. If they'd have put those signs above open elevator shafts, how many people do you think would blindly walk in and fall to their deaths? Maybe... maybe I could walk in that door? You can. Yeah! Aim high! Fucking hell. Next time I look into the mirror, I will see somebody really beautiful looking back at me. Ah, don't say that! I watched Oculus last night and if I looked in the mirror and saw someone beautiful looking back at me, I'd scream like a little girl. Beautiful is a great word. So, why not see what's on the other side of that? It's the same shit as the other door, they lead to the same place! A metaphor for it not mattering one fucking jot! And these places look like they have a fuck ton of shops in them, so you go in through the beautiful door, and then you see all the size zero mannequins lording it over you like, what are you doing bitch, get back out there and use the average door! There we go! Dove! Soap! Moisturising soap, but soap nonetheless! And they completely failed to realise that if everyone were considered beautiful, that would be the average! So you'd need a different sign saying super beautiful, or hot damn fool this bitch is sizzling! Or they could go proper efficient with it and have average and below average! Might even have room for a third sign then that just reads, meh! Either way, their attempt at changing unrealistic beauty standards will only result in them changing to even more unrealistic beauty standards in the way of downright lies. And that's fine, apparently, because you're allowed to lie to ugly people. Thanks for watching, guys. Please consider becoming a patron. These videos take a while to make, and with the day job, well, it doesn't leave a lot of room for anything else. The link is in the description, and remember, beauty is only skin deep, but ugliness is right to the core.